So today we're answering a question from TV about batteries left in bodies when they are buried. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Yep. Batteries left in bodies when they're buried. Awesome. Okay. Seal. Hit. Action. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of Are You Dying to Know? As Trish is dying to know. I am. Hey. I am. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm really good. How are, are you? you? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh. I'm okay. I've had a very busy day. What, what day? day? You started at 4 a.m. And what were you doing at 4 a.m.? Oh, yeah. Running. Running oh, upstairs. You'll be doing the stairs. Just not far from here. Not far from here. Yeah. So there's a place here, actually, funnily enough, called, called the Stairs of Death. Um, and I'll put some video on over about that. But yeah, they're pretty hectic stairs. Show because I kind of do them. Oh, you've never tried. Oh, she's I don't like trial running. It hurts my feet. So today's question, quick one, is about batteries that are left in um, devices in a body when it's buried, and do they corrode? And is that bad for the environment? TB asked us that question a while ago. What yeah. do you think, Trace? Oh, right. Well, um, we've been trying to have a research about it and I don't think there's anything out there like referencing it. Referencing, but I imagine because the battery um, is still in the deceased when they're buried, the batteries take a long time to corrode over years, so they're not going to disappear. So Yes, they will corrode and yes, they the, potentially could cause, they could cause pollution. pollution and damage in the soils of the, where they're buried. I, I mean, I imagine that's going to take a very, very long time for everything else to break down around it, the coffin, the person, and you know, on the ground, and then eventually the battery of the pacemaker or defib uh, or whatever it is, that the device that's still in, it will corrode very slowly. And um, perhaps yeah. that's more a matter for government regulation. I, I think so. Maybe so there should be something brought in where we remove all the devices from people that have been buried as well as cremated. So um, because we've got to dispose of our own batteries yeah, carefully, yeah, thoroughly. And when I remove them, they get professionally disposed of if they're not being um, used again, or um, you know, like given to cats and dog shelters or yeah. reused it elsewhere. So they will get disposed of. In the correct, we have a facility that our clinical waste goes to, that that goes to, and they dispose of them. So, um, with the batteries that are removed for cremation purposes, you do that because because it it, um, it, it explodes in the cremator and it could damage the cremator, the doors. It can damage it, and it actually in the past the blown the doors open. So, you know, it's dangerous to the staff who work there. I it guess. is very dangerous. So it, it's it's a. It, it's an explosive danger. So, and so you remove anything with a battery? Yes. People can't put uh, Christmas presents that are wrapped with toys or batteries or yeah. anything like that in with the coffins? Yes. And you actually have a doctor? Yeah, we have the doctor that comes and checks that batteries have been removed from the deceased body. With a? With a metal detector. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. So, yeah. So there's a thorough check done just to double check so that it's like not an OHS concern, yes, workplace safety right, yeah. and all that stuff. It is. Yeah. Okay, so sometimes in our videos you'll hear little alarms going off in the background. That's the um, defibs that have been put in the cupboard. Yeah, we have for collection. Yeah. Mm. And so, as Trace said, they're either disposed of professionally or they're okay. reused by animal shelters and animal hospitals and yeah. places like that sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Which is a great idea. It is a great idea. idea. But yeah, like you're right, um, it will just degrade in the ground. Yeah, like so that's, that's an unfortunate thing yeah, that happens. But I must say, there's less and less people being buried these days, in Australia anyway. Yes. More and more people being cremated, which is kind of meaning more are getting removed and disposed of properly, so yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. So yeah, sorry it took so long to answer your question, TV. Yeah, thanks, TV. Yes, thank you. See you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.